Object permissions determine the kinds of records or the objects that users can view, create, edit, and delete, but not the individual records themselves. Record level access determines which individual records users can view and edit in each object that they have access to on their profile or through permission set and permission set group assignments. Now, object permissions can be assigned through a user's profile or through those same other features with permission sets and permission set group assignments. Once the user has access to objects or the tables of data, the record level access determines what records of that object a user has access to and what they can do with those records. A user is either the owner of a record or not. If a user does not own the record, record level access to other users' records is determined by the organization-wide defaults or OWDs, the role hierarchy, sharing roles, teams, or through manual sharing, depending on an org's requirements. Object access and record level access is controlled by these different functionalities and different areas of the platform. However, it is the combination of an object and record permissions that truly dictates what a user has access to on individual records. So what do I mean by that? Now, Alima is a sales rep for NTO and is the record owner of an account called Sandy's Running Shop. Alima is responsible for building and maintaining this customer relationship for NTO. Now, record owners do get special privileges to records that they own, and this is called full access. Full access gives record owners the ability to view, edit, share, transfer, and delete their own records. But here's the catch. Full access is contingent or dependent on Alima's object permissions. Let's review what I'm referring to in the org. Now, as Alima, I have navigated to the Accounts tab, and Alima does have the ability to access accounts, and she has the ability to create new accounts with this new button here. Let's jump into that Sandy's Running Shop account record. So if I scroll down to this individual record of the account object, this record is owned by Alima. So Alima should have those full access privileges, not only to view, edit, but also to share, transfer, and delete this record because she is the owner. Let's take a look if she has those full capabilities. So she can view the record. If I look at the top right-hand corner, there's this edit button here, meaning that she can edit records that she owns. She also has a sharing button that indicates that she can share this record to other users or groups of users. But what I am not seeing, even within the dropdown, is I have not seen the delete button available. So what this is telling me that although Alima has record access as the owner, she does not have that delete permission because she has not been granted that delete permission for the account object on her profile or through permission sets or permission set group assignments. This can be a difficult concept as it is multi-layered. Start with the user's object permissions based off of their job function and needs while working within the platform, keeping the principle of least privilege in mind, meaning not granting too much access. From there, that will provide a baseline of what they can do with records in an object as the owner or based off of record level access set on records that they do not own. Think of it as a callback to the object. If you cannot access an object, you will not be able to access any of its records. If you can only read on an object at max, you will only be able to see records of that object.